Yeah. Oh yeah. Now this, my friends, is Boletus adulis var grandadulis. This is the porcini. It's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah. Nice and firm too. Perfect. Back that one up. First off, let's talk about where to find porcini and some of the identifying characteristics of this mushroom. Porcini can be found in pine forests along the California coast, particularly under Monterey pine and bishop pine. They can also be found growing in large numbers under coastal live oak, particularly the younger, smaller live oaks which inhabit the edges of grassy areas along the coast. Porcini should have reticulation along the stem, which is described as a raised fishnet-like pattern. That, Whoa. that is so cool. Awesome. They oftentimes have a club-shaped stem in which the base of the oh. stem is much thicker. <laughs> Look at that that. Got bigger the more you pull it out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh man, that is. A... The color of the cap can often be described as looking like that of a toasted bun. Porcini should also not bruise blue when you damage the flesh. Here's an example of a mushroom that bruises blue and grows in the exact same habitat as porcini. This mushroom is very poisonous. Now that you know where to look and how to identify it, we're going to grab some friends, we're going to head out to the coastal pine forest, and we're going to see what we can find today. <laughs> That's a nice one. Feels nice and firm still. Dude, look at the stem texture. Yeah. Oh, that is crazy. It's kind of like a skinny stem. <laughs> yeah, we got one. That's Grand Edulis. Yeah. Beauty. Oh man, so amazing, cool. so perfect. Dude, this is, <laughs> yeah. Wow. That is really cool. It is. <laughs> Yet another cauliflower. And they're finding porcini in the distance. I'm the big porcini guy. You can eat it if you like. Well, we certainly had some good finds today. We're going to head out tomorrow along the coast and look under live oaks, see what we can find. We're up here in the Santa Cruz Mountains uh, along the coast. We're looking for Porcini. What better place than Live Oak Forest? Killing it. Killing it. Oh my god, look at the stem on that. Sweet specimen. <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah, nice little one. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, pristine. <laughs> <Ow. laughs> Alright. It never seems Perfect. to be a drag into this field. Perfect. Well, I think that's about it for Porcini habitat. Tomorrow we're gonna head up into the mountains, look under some broadleaf hardwoods like madrone and tan oak, see if we can find something that smells better than these gymnopus.
The next mushroom we would like to show you is the Sinum manzanitae, also known as the manzanita bolete. This mushroom is best known for its red cap, which can range anywhere from brick red to dark red. Much like the porcini having reticulation, Lucinum display dark scabbers on the stem. This mushroom also displays a very bright blue bruising reaction when the flesh has been damaged. And the pores on this mushroom are known to start white and become a brownish cream to olive brown color. brown color. Just to give an example how hard these are to see sometimes. Nice button. Oh, firm, very firm. Nice lacinum, perfect. Not only hard to spot, but also sometimes hard to get to. As you see here, I'm crawling under a giant manzanita bush to retrieve one. Delicious. And perfect size. Yeah, yeah, that's pristine, nice and firm. This too. Perfect little Curry one. Little button. Yep. Yep. Yummy. We love these. Dinner. Pretty mushroom. Feels pretty solid too. Get all the cyanums. Wow. Perfect. So nice. That's a perfect specimen. Good color. Chunky! Yeah, yeah. Yep. Chunky stem. This is by far the weirdest lasinum I've ever seen. It's just a ball. A little smidge of a cap attached. That's... That's really weird. Huh. I wanted to go ahead and do a nice reveal video on these because these are some of the largest list items I've ever seen. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Look at that. These are massive. There's a lot of weight on these suckers. That is so cool. I'm gonna try and get this home in one piece because this is neat. My little friend. 